What's good, everyone? Justin here from Fear Quest. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Halloween. Today is the day. Awesome times. Um, if you're like me, today's your favorite time of the year. And, to, and just, you know, just the whole month of October is a beautiful thing. And then it's not because we're leading into Christmas. Oh, Christmas may be better now because we got, we got Santa art, you know. Maybe maybe Art the Clown's going to save Christmas. So, anyway, today I'm bringing you a look at Trick or Treat Studios. Scream Great's 10-inch tall pumpkin head. So, stick around. Okay, we got this beast right here in this box. Um, it's very hard to get a look at him because of the... Uh, the glare and stuff but kind of a look i know people like to see their boxes i'm sure plenty of people already seen this box but i'll throw it in there got a cool picture of him here and we got some cool black and white stills from the film right there pumpkin head demon of vengeance scream greats i love this line um it's very reminiscent of, you know, Tom McFarlane's Movie Maniacs back in the day. You know, I guess those are the figures that kind of started all of the, you know, horror horror figures. And, I mean, at least the first ones I ever saw or got. And I don't even know what happened to mine. I had them all. I, except for, um, uh, shit, I went blank psycho. I didn't have, I didn't have um, Norman Bates for some reason. But I had all the other ones, but I don't know what happened to them. I don't own any of them now, unless they're somewhere in, in storage, but who knows. Anyway, I'm going to rip them out of this box. This is all. This is actually, I've not opened any of the Scream Great figures, because they look fantastic in their packaging, and you, they look great on the wall. Unfortunately, this dude's not going on the wall. He could go on a shelf, but like I said, with the glare, it bugs me, so we're going to rip them out of here and check them out. Christ. <laughs> I just broke a sweat. You know, most people get up and go get some scissors, but I've been in twist tie hell for the last 15 minutes. But he come with this cool little base here. Scream greats. Like I said, I don't know if the other figures have bases. I've never opened them. I'm not really, really that, that deep into them, but, but that's cool. Because he, I mean, he'll definitely need it. And so he's more of like a statue. Like if you remember the old McFarlane figures you know they didn't have much articulation and he don't you know, his legs don't move or anything he does get articulation in his arms a little bit not much no elbows just you can just kind of move around but his head will move a bit yeah, his head will move a little bit tails bendy but but i mean you know this is this is just a, a really sick piece like and he's massive Check that out. The detail they put into him. Pumpkinhead's actually kind of overlooked, I feel. Um, I know it's got a cult following now, and it's more it's probably more popular than it was back in the day, but it's such a great movie, and it's an awesome Southern Gothic monster film, you know? Great for Halloween. Um, it's just overlooked. No offense, Michael. He always steals everyone's joy. I mean, Sam, Sam's picked up there, too, in Trick or Treat Studios. I mean, not Trick or Treat Studios, but Trick or Treat, the movie. Um, you know, and Art, you know, he's stomping on everyone right now. Everyone's Art the Clown this year. But, no, Pumpkinhead's overlooked, and it's just such a good movie. I like part two as well, but the first one. Let's do the sick, sick, sick design here. A little, a little movement in the waist there, not much, but... He looks nice and wet. A little bit slimy. But no, I really like this, dudes. And dudettes. But yeah. No, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this dude. I give him two thumbs up. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put him, but... Because I'm seriously out of room. Like... This six scale takeover and these bigger things like him, I think I'm gonna have to start parting with some of my NECA stuff and then like Funko Pops because I just I don't have room anymore. It's flooded into my hallway, it's flooded into my living room. Storage unit's full. Collecting is such a weird thing. 
It's like, when's it going to stop? It's never going to stop. But Anyway, enough rambling. I just wanted to show you guys this guy. I pick him up from Trick or Treat Studios. Um, pretty sure he just kind of kind of released as of late. Uh, he, he did not come out with the first, like, four or five figures. Uh, I'm still missing Motel Hell. I want to get that figure. Um, I'm not a fan of the Candyman sculpt. I may get him just to have him, but I don't like the way he looks. He don't look like Tony Todd. He, he kind of looks cartoony. But anyway, I may pick him up. But yeah, I just want to throw a video. It's Halloween. Show you guys this cool dude. I'm going to take some photos with him outside in the woods like a weirdo. And um, I'll throw those up in this video as well. Let's check him out. Anyway, hope you all have a great Halloween. Hope you got cool plans made. If you don't, stay home, you know, watch some horror films, play some horror games, make yourself some popcorn, you know. Just stay safe tonight, kids. If you're going out partying, have a driver. Anyway, till the next video, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell for the next awesome video I drop. You will be notified. And until the next time, love you, kids.